Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to make some corn chowder from our prepper pantry. So this recipe is really super simple and easy and it's all stuff that you should have in your pantry and if you don't have something you can replace it with something else or skip it you know nothing is set in stone really when you're cooking but um, so we're just gonna start off we're gonna use about five cups of water and some instant uh, dry, non fat dried milk. You can use any of your powdered milk in this. And I find soups, stews, any kind of cooking is great with the instant and non fat powdered milks. So um, this works really great. If you have fresh milk, save that for drinking or something else. This is great for cooking. And um, some dehydrated potatoes. Uh, freeze-dried onions some freeze-dried celery these really help boost the flavor and I really like that if you've got carrots you can add those in um, they're pretty good and it does help boost the flavor as well um, also some olive oil just for getting everything started and a can of corn and a can of it's cream style corn and we're gonna use some bacon bits in this because you know everything's from the pantry a little bit of cayenne pepper it's optional but I like a little bit of heat in my food and salt and pepper to taste so let's go ahead and get started so I have just started with about a tablespoon of oil and that is just to keep the pan from everything from sticking on it basically and I'm just heating this up until it is nice and warm in here and I have this on a medium heat and once we get that heated up good and you can tell your oil will get thinner it, it appears to be thinner and um, you can feel a good amount of heat coming off there it doesn't have to be sizzling sizzling but we want it to get warm just so nothing sticks. Okay, so once we have that oil heated and the pan all heated up, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of my freeze-dried onions and just about a quarter cup in there. And I have a two and a half ounce package of bacon bits. I'm gonna toss the whole thing in there. We're gonna go for it. And we just wanna heat this up, not too high but you can smell the onions as soon as they start getting in that oil you can smell them and it just smells so good so we've got our bacon and our onions and I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of freeze-dried celery because I love some celery in there it really helps with flavor just toss that right in and we're just gonna warm this up just for a minute we just want to get those flavors going together and then we will move on and I like to just continuously stir this just so you can smell everything okay so once you've got everything heated up pretty good the celery is still looking a little dry but that's okay we are going we don't want to burn anything we're gonna do this pretty quick about a minute I guess so then I'm gonna add five cups of water and get steamy. Just kind of take that steam down a little. There we go. There's one quart and a cup. So about five cups. And this doesn't have to be super particular. So once we have our water in there, we're gonna add one and a half cups of our powdered milk and you can use the instant or the other you can pre-make the liquid uh, if you want to do it before but I find this works just fine just pour it all right in the pan and give it a good old stir and I've still got this on a medium heat and I am going to add my potatoes you want to make sure you get all of that milk broken up 
one, the hotter it gets, the easier that is to break off. But that water was cold. <laughs> so I'm going to add my potatoes now. Just I've got one cup of dehydrated potato chunks. They're super crunchy. And we're just going to add those in. And we want to bring this up to a boil. So I'm going to do that. And I will bring you back. Right. So once we get this to a boil, I am going to turn this down. I just want to make sure those potatoes get nice and hydrated in here. So I'm going to turn it down on like a pretty low setting. I just want this to simmer. And I'm going to add my can of whole corn. And I do not drain this out. I'm putting the whole thing in there. Because that corn, the juice in the corn really gives it a lot of extra flavor. And I like that. And then we're going to add our cream style corn right now too. And this makes a nice big pot. You can feed six to eight people with this easy. Maybe more. It's a nice big pot. And, uh, and I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. Just to taste what you like, not too, I don't go too much. And a little more pepper than salt. We like that. And I'm gonna add a pinch of cayenne pepper. Just a teeny bit. I like a little heat in it. Not everybody loves that. You can definitely leave that out. And the bacon also, if you don't eat meat, you can skip the bacon. I really like the flavor it adds. And it is absolutely delicious. So I am just going to let this simmer and get everything all heated up and make sure our potatoes are nice and hydrated for probably 15 minutes or so. And then all the flavors should be together pretty good and oh, it already smells delicious. But we're just going to cover this up and let it simmer for a little while and I'll stir it occasionally just so it doesn't stick on the bottom. Okay, so once everything has been heated through and you just want to make sure those potatoes are nice and soft mmm look at that yumminess yummy once those potatoes are nice and soft really it is ready to go um, I just take a fork and kind of pierce through the potato to make sure they're all rehydrated good and you just want everything to all those flavors to mix together and then your chowder is ready to go so I'm just gonna put a I like a little pinch of parsley on top you don't have to add that you could do chives you could do whatever you like really um, and I'm gonna add a little soup crackers because I love those mmm and that is it really I like to let it sit for a couple minutes once it's done and then it is ready to go you can see your potatoes and corn and bacon and mmm that bacon adds I don't know it just adds this awesome flavor I love it mmm 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 corn chowder is super easy out of the pantry I hope you give it a try if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next video. Bye!